Hey guys, the Super Review Show here for another episode of Why You Should Listen To. This is the show where I go by Spotify streaming numbers and I tell you why this music is just that good. You have to listen to it. Here we go. Let's start off today with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Come on. World renowned. Unfortunately, he's dead from an accidental drug overdose, and that's a damn shame because his music and he and he was a legend. He was an amazing vocalist, guitar player broke a lot of rules and he really bent a lot of stuff and he did a great job uh, in the music industry to be honest with you but I wanted to get into I don't have all of his albums I'm a big Tom Penny fan I don't have Full Moon Fever I don't have Wildflowers I don't have their greatest hits but I just want to get into the overall like why why you should listen to Tom Penny and the Heartbreakers um, so a couple things really right off the bat Tom Petty is was a masterful guitar player some of, some of the best riffs in guitar and rock and roll history, to be honest with you. Kind of like that Bruce Springsteen like on certain songs of his. There are certain piano parts that are iconic. You, when you think of that song, you think of that part on the piano or the guitar. He has the same way. If you hear the opening chords to American Girl, great song, quintessential Tom Petty song, just saying. Free Fallen is not even close to American Girl. American Girl all the way. Um... What was I saying? So Tom Petty, American icon, fantastic artist, some of the best records you'll ever listen to in his life. Uh, his guitar playing is great. His riff writing is great. He's a masterful musical guy. And the Heartbreakers, his, his band, were a fantastic band. I can honestly tell you, I've never, I never saw him live, unfortunately. I wanted to on his last tour, but I missed the boat on it, and I'm so mad I did because he died that tour. I was so upset. Anyways. That was 2017 back then. Um, but Tom, if you're looking down, you're amazing. God bless. You're, you're an icon. Um, American Girl, Mary Jane's Last Dance, anyone? Uh, learning to Fly, uh, Here Comes My Girl, Don't Do Me Like That, um, Breakdown, The Waiting, so many iconic tracks. Refugee, come on. So many iconic tracks from this guy. That was just for him and the Heartbreakers. And I want to get into some of his albums just in a second. So the, the great thing about Tom Petty is that he went off and did a solo album in 1989 called Full Moon Fever. And this album had a lot of big hits on it. Fun fact, it was actually produced by Jeff Lynne of Electric Light Orchestra, who helped co-write and produce a lot of the songs. Um... Free Fallen is on there. Running Down a Dream, the ultimate car road trip song is on there. Um, I, I, I Won't Back Down is a great track. Um, some other cuts, like, uh, I, I don't, those are like the three I mainly listen to. Again, the big hits, whatever. But overall, fantastic album. Full Moon Fever, I recommend it. Um, I'd be a fool if I didn't mention that on Full Moon Fever, there's a, there's a part where back in the day before you had streaming and Spotify and stuff like that, uh, you actually had to flip over the vinyl or flip over the CD or flip, you know, stuff like that. And on the vinyl, it says, quote, Hello, CD listeners. We've come to the part on this album where listeners will have to sit, stand up or sit down and turn the record over. In fairness to those listeners, we will give a few minutes before we, before we start side two. Thank you. Here's side two. Brilliant. Who would have thought of that? Nothing, no one else but Tom Petty. The guy's great, okay? Um... And he went off in 1994. He did Wildflowers. Had a couple of good hits in there. You're so bad. Uh, you you uh, you wreck me. Um, was the, you don't know how it feels. There's are three big hits on in the mid, in the mid 90s. Who would have thought? Um, that's Tom Petty's. He released another couple albums in the, in the 2000s. I'm not that familiar with them. If you know them, share them with me in the comment section below. I'd love to get get to know that those that material more. Um, I know like the last DJ and stuff like that. I don't, I don't really know anything about it though. Love to hear what you guys could share with me about that, actually. Um, but he did release three three solo albums. But with the Heartbreakers, he released a plethora of great songs and great albums. And here's a couple of them right here. Here's their debut album, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Actually, this part here says for, for promotional use only. Uh, I don't know how, I forget how I got a hold of this copy. But basically, this is a thing where you can't, uh, property of, of, of records on the top right left there uh, I, I forget like I said I forget how I got this but I think this was on display somewhere I, I really don't remember how I got this to be honest with you. but I think it was on display somewhere and then this may have never been played I mean I played it once probably if that because uh, I wanted to hear all the songs on vinyl 
um, with songs like Rockin' Around With You, Breakdown, a couple of deep tracks like Hometown Blues, The Wild One, Forever, Anything That's Rock and Roll, Stranger Dead in the Night, Fooled Again, I Don't Like It, Mysterious Man, Luna, and the quintessential Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker song, American Girl. And the Heartbreakers are as follows. Tom Petty, Stan Lynch, Mike Campbell, Ron Blair, and Bernard Trench on the back there. See that? Great band, the Heartbreakers. It's a shame Tom Petty's passed, which is very unfortunate. So I do not have their follow-up album, but I do have their big breakthrough album, which is Damn the Torpedoes. This is a great album that came out in 1979. And it featured songs like Refugee, Here Comes My Girl, Don't Do Me Like That, Louisiana, a couple of deep tracks like Louisiana Rain, Shadow of a Doubt. You know, there's a lot of good songs in this album. And Tom Petty, of course, you know, killing it. And um, he was great. Uh, here's, the, here's the front. Here's the back. Uh, he, is, he was one of a kind, to be honest with you. Um, the album after that came out in 1981. And this is the last, sadly, the last Tom Petty album I have on vinyl. But I said, you know what? I got to get more. So I'll get more eventually. Tom Petty's Hard Promises. Uh, the only really big hit or song off that he played off this album was The Waiting. And honestly, he... That's really the only one I could think of that, that is like mainstream and stuff like that. But honestly, there's a lot of good songs here too, like you know, Night Watchman or King's Road, The Criminal Kind. A lot of deep tracks, but some good songs in there still. Um, there's the front. There's the back. There's the band. Good stuff. Um, so... Those are the only albums I have by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, it kind of goes back and, it was really good, and the Heartbreakers and the Heartbreakers and the Heartbreakers. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. The fact that the, the he released solo albums is fine, but let's face it, without the Heartbreakers, Tom Petty would be nobody. That's just the truth. So, uh, and they released The Greatest Hits in 1994 with, uh, and, um, with a bunch of tracks on it, but also my one of my favorite Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers tracks, Mary Jane's Last Dance. What a great song, okay? That song is awesome. And no one really knows what it means. Like, uh, uh, I'm forgetting the words, but whatever. I think that this, I think that <laughs> that song is awesome. Uh, I tried covering it at one point in, one, in a band that I was in a little while ago. Um, and he, he well, what can I say? What, what can I say? Why should you should listen to Tom Petty? If you like, like, a lot, just be told, a lot of country music today, the artists like Garth, not, not say Garth Brooks, like Luke Combs, people like that, they listen to Bruce Springsteen and Tom Petty because their songs, and, and John Mellencamp, another one, because the Heartland Rock was a big influence on the country singers. Then the country singers grew up and became, got record deals, and now they're playing like Tougher Than the Rest and American Girl and Mary Jane's Last Dance. Like Zach Brown Band covered Mary Jane's Last Dance a lot. So, and other songs as well, but you know what I mean. Um, but why should you listen to Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? Um, aside from listening to all the songs, aside from listening to all the hits and the great things that they've done, um, I, they're just an all-around great band, great iconic frontman, great band, great songs, iconic songs still played today on the radio, um, even though he's, been, he's passed, of course. Overall, a fantastic singer-songwriter. He wrote from the heart. Uh, people in Florida still celebrate his music because I think he's from, he's from Florida. Um, bottom line, I recommend you listen to Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers because this guy is a legend. He's a goat, all right, for all you youngsters out there. He's a goat. He's one of the greatest of all time. Uh, he, he may his soul rest in peace. I sure hope he's looking down and saying, thank you for shedding some light on my Spotify streaming numbers. I don't know, whatever. Uh, anyways, I digress. What do you guys think? Are, do you have any Tom Petty memories? Are you a big fan of his? Jump down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Please sound off with any, if you saw Tom Petty live, Please share those, th those thoughts as well. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you were close to the stage, if you saw him back in the day, what, whatever, let me know. Please comment below and let me know. Sorry, Jeremy Johns. Uh, but for all of you, why you should listen to videos, keep it locked in this review show. The J-Man is off to work. We'll see you guys.